So when I heard about this new extension that could supposedly exist inside of Visual Studio as an extension and pretty much do everything that Postman can do, I was clearly excited. So without further ado, let's talk about the extension. Hey guys, my name is Utsal. I'm a software engineer based on Seattle, Washington, and this channel is all about helping you excel in your software engineering careers. So if you're into that, please consider subscribing. So for those that don't know what Postman is, it's basically a standalone REST client that allows you to test various API endpoints using different HTTP requests. And there's nothing wrong with Postman. It works as expected. It's pretty straightforward and intuitive to use. And as you can see, I've clearly used a lot of Postman um, testing out some of the APIs that I'm working in. But the problem with Postman is that it's yet another app outside the context of my favorite editor or favorite IDE. And that context switching takes time, effort, you know, you got to copy your API endpoints, then maybe there are keys and tokens that you need to copy paste over. And as much as possible, I'm always trying to avoid context switches or switching between apps. So the more I can integrate stuff into my IDE or code editor, the better uh, in terms of how effective and productive I can be. And this extension did exactly that for me. It works exactly like Postman, but it's integrated into VS Code, which is awesome. So let's let's take a look at that. So the extension is called Thunder Client, and it's very lightweight REST client for testing APIs, just like Postman. But like I said, it's built into Visual Studio. So let's get that installed here. I'm going to tab over to my extensions panel and then type thunder client. So it's the first one over here, click install. It's done. So as you will see over here in the sidebar, you'll get the thunder icon and that's basically it. So now let's imagine that you're working with some code and you need to test some API. Let's just say some public API as an example, like GitHub or something like that. And you need to test out the API and some headers, try out some different headers and see this example uh, JSON response it gives you and things like that. Previously, you'd have to now go over to Postman, switch all that. Over here now, you just click the Thunder icon and then create a new request. And then let's just do HTTPS colon slash slash api.github.com slash users. Let's say you're interested in my account. So let's just type that and see what happens. Perfect. It's got the response with the ID node, you know, your URLs for the rest um, calls and everything when it was created, updated, awesome. And so that's the quick example that I wanted to give you. Obviously, I'm not gonna go into detail about how um, post works and how you can do authentication and bearer tokens and stuff. I mean, that's outside the context of this video and you guys probably already know how to do that. But basically, if you take a quick glance at this, it's pretty much identical to Postman. You've got your um, headers and all that. You can switch the HTTP verb over here. And if you want, you can group a bunch of calls and settings together as collections. And say if you have a bunch of different environment like staging and production, you can create uh, environments for there. For example, let's call this staging. And then within staging, say you have a API key over here. And then let's just say you have a value. Uh, if you save that, you can now when you make a call, say you want to use API key, you can just do something like this. And then you'll immediately recognize that and pull that information from your data over here. So like uh, pretty much straightforward to Postman or any other um, REST client that you've used before. But the best thing is it's very effective, convenient and integrated right within Visual Studio. So you never kind of break your uh, workflow. And it I think is is a great extension that I'll be using uh, and I hope you you guys will use it too. Um, one thing that I want to highlight here is that I've only used this for about two or three weeks so I haven't worked on it extensively enough to test out the little nuances and quirks that it may have better than Postman or some of the features that it may be lacking compared to Postman. So, um, so far it's worked and it's been good um, but if you guys figure out any differences do let me know or if you know any other extension that's even better than that that can replace Postman and 
and get the workflow integrated into VS Code, uh, do let me know that as well. So that's it for today, short video, but I hope you guys found it useful. I'll see you next time. Cheers.